The conditions are absolutely perfect right now. Water's in the low 40s, and these fish are hungry and ready to lay some eggs, but we're gonna get after them. We're right up by the lock and dam, catching some giant walleyes, pitching plastics. Stick around, I think you're gonna love this last spring walleye video at the lock and dam. Don't go anywhere. Fish. Shown. We go right off the bat. We are out in some high water today. There's nobody out. I'm the only boat below the dam right now. And uh, that was my second cast. I think you can tell what kind of night it's going to be. We'll get that guy in the net. Yeah, he woofed it using that jig head from Liquid Willow Cat. I put some of that walleye attracting on there. It's got those flippers on it. This one's a 3A sounds. Reaction Innovation paddle tail, little dipper. Just just pounded that nice walleye. That was like my second cast. That was cool. Looks like it might be a good night. That one is definitely a female. We'll get her back in the water. 19 and a quarter. Beautiful. I like the way this is going already. <clears throat> so in this area, there's usually a a riprap bank that's exposed along here, but right now it's underwater and that current is just kind of just ebbing and flowing along there. And that's just absolutely perfect for, for a spawning area for these fish. And uh, they should be hanging out in here for sure. Well, it's still pretty early in the afternoon. It's quarter to five and the water Surprisingly, it's not as dirty as I thought it was going to be for how high the river is. The gates are all the way up out of the water at the dam. I think we're right around that 10-foot mark. Right about that, that flood stage. But this is setting up perfectly in here with, with these rocks all flooded along here. And just this nice slow current. It's uh, producing the uh, perfect conditions for, for spring walleyes to come up and feed and spawn. That first fish we caught, that was a uh, female. Had not spawned yet. We may have had some fish spawn already in the river. We did get up to about 42, 43 there for a while, then it cooled down. And some of the early spawners may have done their thing already, but I think for the most part, most of the fish have not spawned yet. I expect that to happen this week with temperatures warming up where we get a lot of those fish spawned out. But right now, I'm at 40 and a half degrees. And it should be just about perfect here to tag some fish that are just staging here to get ready to spawn. Now we're a little behind schedule this year. We're Generally expect that spawn to be about mid-April. We're already past halfway of April and heading into the second half of the month. And this water temps are still fairly cold, so I think a lot of those fish are still holding on to their eggs. But they're waiting to dump them here. And we get a little warm up and I think it's gonna be a, uh, a barrage of, of spawning walleyes.
shown. Good fish. Oh man, had a pretty big long break there before I caught one. I just went up to slide the boat up a little bit and this guy just crushed it. I was kind of just letting the jig hang there back behind the boat. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. It's my second fish of the day. It took a while to get my second one, but if they keep getting bigger like this, I will be just fine with that. You think he wanted that bait? Holy smokes. I think it's gonna be a good night. We're gonna stick it out as long as we can. Another beautiful walleye. The first one was a little over 19. And this one goes in about just a little over 20. So great start, both female fish. Yeah, beautiful fish. Perfect time to be out catching walleyes. Get her back. It took a while to get that second fish. And uh, we casted and casted and casted. And I was gonna make a little boat adjustment. And that jig was just hanging back behind the boat as I started to move forward and pounded it. Uh, so I think I'll stick right here. Maybe I'll make a little slight adjustment. I'm just casting back at the dam there. You can see the gates are up and all that flow is coming right through. You don't get that undertow. So that, that current passes right through and creates this really nice big eddy back here. And the current's almost, almost dead right behind the boat here. Uh, I'm throwing a 3 8 ounce with a big paddle tail and I'm getting pretty good feel. You might be able to get away with a quarter ounce today, but I think I'll stick with the 3 8 for a while. I may try some other plastics, but right now I think this one's working just fine. Let's get back after them, see if we can get another one. They keep getting bigger. Hopefully that trend continues. <laughs> Fish. Right under the boat. There we go. Look at that. Have you ever seen a more beautiful sagger than that? Good lord. Had some trouble earlier this year identifying sagger, sagai, walleye. There's no doubt about that one. That is a sagger through and through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hooked into one of those river monsters. There he popped off. See that? That was definitely not a walleye. Good fish. Really good fish. Oh, good a solid fish here, guys. I didn't feel him hit, but he he's got a lot of weight. Big walleye. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Giant walleye. I just hooked on a liquid willow cat paddle tail and just hooked a giant walleye. This is a giant, guys. I just switched over. I was using that white reaction innovation paddle tail. Stay on, buddy. And I switched over to this purple paddle tail from 
liquid willow cat and just hooked a giant. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be, this might be my biggest wall I've ever caught if I can get him in. In the net. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this thing. Look at that. That purple paddle tail just cracked that giant. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. On that thing right there. Look at that fish. He's not even that long. He's just a giant fish. Holy smokes. Look at that fish. <laughs> he's not a, he's not very long, but man, is that thing a pig. Holy smokes. It's 26 and a half. Here we go, guys. My biggest walleye of the year. Not my biggest fish ever but just a tank. This thing is heavy as can be. Just an egg shooter. We'll get this thing back in the water so it can spawn. But what an awesome fish. And man, we're having a day already. Man, look at that fish. she goes that was awesome Whew. that made my night you know I switched over to that liquid willow cat uh, paddle tail and that thing just cracked it actually I shouldn't say it cracked it it didn't crack it because it was just weight all of a sudden but man what a fish I'll show you these baits That, that right there. I was using that little flipper jig head that I've been using. But I hadn't used these before and I just put one on just to try something different. And uh, caught that fish. I think you can get these baits at Fat Cats and Trempolo, so head up there and pick some up if if you want but that fish was awesome let's get back after it fish good fish crunched it really good fish Fish. Yeah, look at that on the liquid willow cat combo. Got that flipper jig head and that purple paddle tail with the scent. Had the scent on there too. Tagged another beautiful fish. And they are cracking tonight. The quality is there for sure. So 19 and a half inch fish. Get that guy back. He is ready. crunched it just down below the boat there gave it a couple of twitches and thing punched it some nice subtle twitches and the size of these fish is just awesome
go. They're great fish. Probably 16, 17 incher. It. Good fish. Oh, good fish. Giant ball. Oh, just had to go back to the purple. Look at that fish. It's absolutely engulfed with that bait. That liquid willow cat paddle tail is just destroying the walleyes tonight. Look at that fish. Just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish. Twenty three and three quarter, twenty three and three quarter inch walleye. Look at that fish. Oh, that was so much fun. It's just about sunset. The damn lights are about to come on. And uh, it's been pretty slow the last hour or so. And just slammed. An just slam that beautiful fish. We'll get that guy back. It's purple with a little bit of the scent on there. It's been the deal. Wow, what an awesome day on the water. We got some beautiful fish and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we really had a great spring walleye season this year. And I hope you guys learned something from my videos. We got more content coming up this spring and this summer. I'm gonna be fishing for some different species, panfish, catfish. We'll do some bass fishing, pipe fishing. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of fishing you wanna see me do. And uh, we'll try and do some videos on a bunch of different stuff. There'll be more walleye action, don't worry about that. But uh, thanks for everybody's support and thanks for watching my videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.